A really common question in the A-level chemistry exam papers is to ask you to draw either the apparatus of a reflux or a distillation. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I would do this in an exam, starting off with a reflux. I start off with these two straight vertical lines representing the inside of the condenser, and I attach to the bottom of that a pear-shaped flask. Then I finish off drawing the condenser by adding the water jacket around the outside, not forgetting these two ports at the side on the right, which are going to represent the water flow in a moment. I now add in my labels and I make sure that I don't have any horizontal lines cutting off the open system. There should be a clear path from the bottom of the pear-shaped flask all the way up and out of the top of the condenser and there absolutely should be no thermometer stuck in the top. The water in and water out must go this way around so please be very careful. You could do a round bottom flask instead of a pear-shaped flask, it's just this one is easier to draw freehand. Next up we've got the distillation and I'm going to start off this time by using an adapter which is going to connect the pear-shaped flask to the condenser. They are not directly attached to each other this time which is the main difference in these apparatus. I also include a thermometer when I draw a distillation apparatus which is going to be measuring the temperature of the gases that have left the pear-shaped flask and are now going into the condenser. Do not draw the thermometer going all the way down into the bottom of the pear-shaped flask. You'll also notice that I'm not adding a scale to the thermometer because that'll make it look like a baguette on this kind of scale. Next up I draw the condenser, but with two important changes. Obviously first off it's no longer directly connected to the pear-shaped flask. And secondly it's now at an angle, so when any gases condense into this they're going to be cooled, condensed and collected immediately in a conical flask that I'll draw shortly. I still need to make sure that I've got the two ports to allow for the water flow in the water jacket and the water direction must go the same way as last time, which you'll see in a moment. Once I've got the conical flask drawn and it's positioned underneath where the distillate is going to be collected from, I'm ready to add in my labels. I need to add labels for the pear-shaped flask or the round bottom flask, whichever one you went for, the thermometer, the condenser and the direction of the water flow. I'm also going to label up the conical flask here just in case. Some exam questions may ask you to suggest a heat source here and rather than a Bunsen burner I'd recommend you go for a water bath or a heating mantle. The main reason is that it's very difficult to control the temperature on a Bunsen burner whereas for a heating mantle or for a water bath it's much easier to regulate that temperature. Again here we can't have any horizontal lines between the solution in the pear shaped flask up and out of the condenser on the right. We need to maintain an open system here and so that's something that we notice in both diagrams and I'll represent here with the red pen. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial but before you head off I need some help. Please leave this video a like before you go because it helps support the work that I put into this channel. There's lots of links on screen now to other tutorial content that might help you revise for your A-level exams and I'll always put some good information down in the video description. Until next time though everybody. Happy revising.